So I've been sitting here actually editing some photos, not footage, photos. And I really feel like stepping out for a bit. I did want to show you the Nature's Choice. Um, what do you call it? The Nature's Choice um, delivery that came in uh, two days ago. But honestly, I feel like I can do that tomorrow morning. It is the beginning of a vlog. So, hey, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pop out if I don't come back for the rest of the evening. Maybe I might show it to you later. Who knows? But if I don't come back for the rest of the evening, just know that I'm out. Um, decided to go get some air. And I need to get one or two surgical masks, of course. And my sanitizer is in my bag. So everything else is A1. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys later. I feel like this is a look. But I want to change up this watch because it's heavy. <laughs> I don't know for the life of me where my other smaller tripod is. I feel like it's downstairs. It's fine. I'm actually on my way. Can you guys even see me when I do this? Yeah. So I'm actually on my way out and um, hey everybody, it's a different day from the last footage that you saw. In actual fact I'm parched. Hang on. The parch is quenched. Okay, so the last footage that you saw, I think, was from two days ago, which was Friday. Today is Sunday. And I just got back from John's bank. Okay. Um, just did a quick grocery haul because I haven't actually been to the shops to do a proper grocery haul in about two weeks. So I've behaved. I really have. I only stepped out to get like spinach things like that for my smoothie so today i picked up that and i also picked up some flowers um so the spa here by me does a wonderful not does a the spa here by me does wonderful arrangements for flowers and they include eucalyptus and all of that and i mean i mean i picked up another uh bouquet of flowers because I really liked what that first bouquet did to my spirits and it just lifted my spirits, especially if I was sitting on the couch watching TV. Um, I might be a little bit delirious in this video because I am hungry. It is quarter past two and I haven't eaten anything today. I haven't even had tea. I've just had about two liters of water, but I'm going to eat. Promise, I'm going to eat. And what I am going to eat is some of this. I picked up the um, Woolworths Rotisserie Chicken. Picked up that, gonna eat some of that for lunch and probably for supper as well and probably tomorrow's lunch, something like that. Um, the whole idea of me going into Woolies was for fruits, to be honest. I'm out of fruits completely. No lemons, no oranges, nothing. So I went in for fruits. Uh, picked up the Pharrell pears, which I really like. You've seen this before. Um, grapes. I'm not going to talk about these because you've seen these before in multiple holes of mine. This was a first for me. This is a berry duo, which is uh, a mix of strawberries and blueberries on the side there. Can you see them? Yeah. So it's a nice mix of strawberries and blueberries. And can I tell you how dark these strawberries are? I mean, can you see them? Can you see them? Look at how thick those strawberries are. Thick. Okay. Huge. Fat. Love it. Um, traditional hot cross buns. I think I've spoken about the saying that I really love them. Shh, I forgot coffee. I'll just have the Nespresso pods. That's fine. Um, traditional hot cross buns. I really just enjoy for when I just feel like nibbling on something throughout the day. And I just have one of those apples. I haven't had apples in quite a minute. So picked up those as well. Um, spring onions because I pick up two of these because I add spring onions to everything, everything. Okay. Um, ruby grapefruit. I'm pretty sure you know what I use this for now. Some of these, yes. Um, a repurchase of my favorite salads. I'm going to have some chicken with these and maybe a Greek salad, a little bit of these and a Greek salad right now. I'll show you all of that. Um, Bananas. I always pick up bananas when they are green because 
um, it takes a couple of days. I'm alone half the time in the house. And a lot of the time I've noticed that I, if I pick them up ripe, ripe, I have to then freeze them, take them out and then freeze them and then add them to a smoothie. And I just, yeah. So I pretty much pick them up when they're green. I don't eat them every day. That's one of the reasons why I end up having to freeze them. Um, a Greek salad all cut up chopped up because this is what i'm gonna have now with my piece of chicken um and then my cara my favorite sweet potatoes cara orange ones we love them a cucumber okay um i was literally out of lemons so i picked up the lemons for my lemon water and ginger for my lemon and ginger water because as much as we're on level two right now, Ikoros virus is still alive and kicking. So please social distance, even though we're on level two, hey? Social distance, stay home if you can. The Satanya, it's problem with South Africans. Yo, Lagato abuse of power. Yo, Lagato abuse of the privilege. Anyway, yogurt, what's new? Everything I'm showing you are things that you've seen. This is the second pack. And oh, 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 the only new thing, which is also new to me, is I picked up the... I love to use uh, vinaigrette on my salads. Um, not vinaigrette. I love to use some vinaigrette. Sometimes I like to use a balsamic reduction. And this is one of them. And this is the crema of Italy one. New to me. So definitely going to try this out today with my salad now. And then, of course, my spicy salami sticks, which I love. I had company over this weekend. Two people, really. Um, and my sister. And so, yeah, they, they ate all the things that I keep to entertain people so yeah so i'm gonna pack this up keep out the stuff that i'm going to make lunch with right now uh there's other things that i'm going to show you upstairs uh but yeah let me put the flowers in a vase let me do all of that and then we'll talk in a bit okay okay Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some do crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while I'm living that high Look at these Oh, they are gorgeous So pretty so so pretty so this time around we don't have the cabbage flower we've got roses we've got somebody tell me what the flowers these are because i love these flowers i really do uh we've got it's just such a different variation of flowers look at these if somebody's a flower person let us know we still have the eucalyptus i feel like that's what i love about it it's not a very springy arrangement but it's like a welcome to spring, okay? Because now we're in that August transition period. So I really like the the still the green of this uh, flower arrangement so, so much. This one hasn't opened yet. This one you can tell probably just opened today or yesterday. Um, they are stunning. So pretty. They just make you happier. They're so beautiful. So I'm gonna wash my hands and next we're going to chop up this chicken. So the thing is at Woolies they sell the chicken whole. They don't uh, sell it chopped up. Um, and because I'm alone here, I don't like grabbing pieces like that. I would rather cut it up and put it into a nice casserole and then put it in the fridge and then eat it that way when it's already cut up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And at the same time, also prepare my breakfast slash lunch eat try and unwind a little bit and then i'll catch in with you guys a little bit later but let me just chop up this chicken real quick let me wash my hands right. i don't have a decent all my casseroles are at home and i really don't appreciate this mm. i'm so annoyed actually because 
there was a time at home when we had a braai and I took all my really nice glass casseroles and I took them home and I haven't been able to get them back. I haven't been able to get them back and ever since I, I keep going home and I just forget about them. But next time, next time is next time. time. To catch a flight, but you can make me go. Unlocking all the memories of my new home. Ventilated echoes playing to and fro, to and fro, back and forth. Yeah, caught some kids dancing in the alleyway. Crazy how the melodies began to play. Here we go i'm not really that great at chopping up chicken okay let's not judge other children but um i normally just go in with my hands um it's pretty it's, it's fine it's not the end of the world so i'm gonna put this to the side and then we're gonna get ready to prepare the salad let's do that here we go got the salad here and what i love about this one it's just you pretty much just add the ingredients without the hassle of having to chop everything up. So these are all the ingredients. You've got cucumbers, tomatoes, uh, feta cheese, some olives. I love them. And some red onion. So, and then underneath that, oopsie. Underneath that, you've got a bit of leaves. So I just normally take everything and cut it up. The star of the show. Just gonna pour a little. Oh my god, I'm already salivating. Taste test. Here's my phone so I can take a picture. Maybe a thumbnail will be required. Who knows? Oh, I can't even see it myself. So this is pretty much what it looks like. Simple, easy, took five minutes to do. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna taste because apparently some of you like it when I taste it. I haven't had a salad like this in a while, so. So because I haven't had a salad like this in a while, we're gonna taste, here she goes. Here she is, I know what the meat tastes like because I've already literally thrown it into my mouth. Oh no. Mm. Okay, this is delicious. Crema of Italy. It's delicious. It's so good. Yo, 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 yo. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Let me eat. Oh. <clears throat> Touch the back. Mm -hmm. Let me eat. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Mwah. Slightly dark. I don't know. Slightly light. Could be. Um, hey everybody. So I just had my lunch. Hang on. This is how I get through four to five liters of water a day because I'm constantly drinking water. Um, but I'm up here because it's so nice and warm up here. Um, and it is pretty much four o'clock. I want to do some work for about an hour uh, because I've got time to kill. But if I could show you, I'll actually take a, a cutaway with my phone. If I could show you my desk right now, yeah, it's a bunch of notepads, my laptop, and books. <laughs> lots and lots of books. I feel like I have an obsession with books. Um, uh, but you know what? I would rather have an obsession with books. Honestly, I would rather have an obsession with books than with makeup or with whatever. Honestly, I feel like this is the best way I spend my time. I feel so fulfilled, uh, so enriched with everything I am reading and the authors from, you know, the different countries and all of that. It's just, 
I feel fantastic. So I pulled out the camera to show you some of the books that I have picked up. I don't know if I will do the book videos anymore. Um, I'm trying to narrow down the focus of my channel quite a bit uh, in the sense that I want my channel to be strictly vlogs and candid with cat. Now, I know you guys are going to be like, no, but what, what about the current favorites and what about the book videos and whatever. What I'm going to do is essentially incorporate all the other things that I like, the cooking, the healthy, the grocery hauls, um, the, the whatever, the current favorites, the all of that into my vlogs. So it condenses everything. So chances are my vlogs are going to be very long. Um, but I will try not to have vlogs that are longer than about between 20 and 30 minutes um, twice a week, you know? And then there'll be the Candid with Cat videos that will come out every now and again. But I really want to condense the focus of my channel so that it is strictly vlogs and then here and there I might throw in something else maybe like there'll be a feminine hygiene video here and there blah that's fine but strictly what you're going to see a lot of moving forward is vlogs and then within those vlogs you will see current favorites in terms of um my beauty things that I've currently been using or my books or what I'm reading right now. How far am I with it? That kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I feel like it just cements everything for me and makes it easy to look at when I'm on my channel and it's not just a mishmash of everything. I hope that makes sense. Um, but I switched on the camera now because I am currently reading this with the Brown Skin Reads book club. Now, this is The Yearning by Muhale Mushekho Mashekho. Uh, Muhale Mashekho is a South African female black um, author. And she, this is her de debut, I can't speak for the life of me. This is her debut novel called uh, The Yearning. And so far, when it started, I kind of felt like, mm, okay, I needed something to help it help me, you know, I needed something to help me get the pick up, the come up. Like I needed something to help me go, oh, what's going on? And honestly, it did that within, I think about, was it 37 pages in? Yeah, it was around 37 pages in that the first thing that happened, I was just like, so because I am reading this with the book club, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I am quite impressed. Um, I read it so quickly. I've done like little indentations and I folded pages and what have you, because it is currently the 16th of August. And I know where this bookmark is, this is pretty much all I've got left, right? So I know that if I sit and I read this, I'm going to finish it in one sitting. And we're still on the 16th of August. We're only going to have the full book review um, Insta Live on my Instagram, which will be here so you can see. We're only going to have the full book review at the end of August. So for me, it's like, oh my gosh, if I finish this now, will I still even remember some of the things? That's why I folded pages because um, of the the writing that has stood out or what happens in the book at that time. But it is a really, really good book that follows the life of, uh, I almost said Unati, Unati is the friend, that follows the life of Marubini and yeah, just her life and what goes on in it and all of that. But yeah, really, really interesting. And then the ones that I have picked up over the past couple of weeks, honestly, is um, let me do them in the order that I picked them up. So the first one was this one. This is Jacqueline Woodson, uh, Red at the Bone. I've heard quite a bit uh, about this in terms of good things. Also quite a short book, 196 pages to be exact. So I'm going to get through this one very quickly, but I've heard really great things about this book. Um, so definitely, I think I'll talk about them more in detail as I read them or in the next vlog. Right now, I'm just showing you the books. Um, am I 
in love with this cover? Absolutely. Um, most of the books that I pick up are paperbacks. The reason is not because of me. The reason is I just feel like in South Africa, in the bookshops, because I asked, I'm like, don't you guys have hardbacks and what have you? And they said, uh, no, a lot of the time they get the books in paperback. And I thought, it's fine. I keep my books neat anyway, so it's okay. It's not a train smash for me. Um, so this one, I absolutely fell in love with the cover. And then after that, I picked up this book, which I was really hoping would be picked by uh the book club but they didn't instead they picked the yearning which is fine um i i picked it up because i definitely want to read it i i've heard amazing things this is my sister the serial killer <laughs> when i think about my own sister i'm like mm, she could be she could pass as a serial killer that one uh i i can't pronounce her name oyi oyin khan i don't want to butcher the name so that's her name right there also a female black um um nigerian author and was very very excited to hear about this one and yeah it's about two sisters or the, the, the one sister is a serial killer basically her, her boyfriends when things don't work out they mysteriously die and really two or three boyfriends dying and mm, mm, so I'm really, really keen on uh, reading that one. And then the next one that I'm very keen on reading as well, this cover is absolutely everything. What do you mean? This is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. So I watch a lot of booktubers, black, white, all over YouTube. And I get these recommendations, some of them, from them. So... Um, this one I've heard amazing things about beautiful thing about this book is that it's written in verse as you can see It's going to be a book that is going to be pretty quick to get through quick to read and it's about two sisters one who lives in the US in New York and one who lives in the Dominican Republic and they do not actually know anything about one another I feel like one knows something, but a father dies in an airplane crash on his way to the Dominican Republic, I think. And that's pretty much when everything unravels and they find out about one another. So very, 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 very much excited for that one. And then another one that I'm very excited about is The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abidari. So, um, very excited. The cover is so African. For me, I feel like African colors pop out in terms of African Africa for me just means color and diversity and and just um, Yeah, color lots of color and this book speaks that to me um, so Yeah, it's this one says as the only daughter of a broke father. She is oh a Duni is a 14 year old Nigerian girl who knows what she wants in education as the only daughter of a broke father she is a valuable commodity removed from school and sold as a third wife to an old man aduni's uh, life amounts to this four goats two bags of rice some chickens and a new tv when the unspeakable tragedy when unspeakable tragedy swiftly strikes her new home she is secretly sold as a domestic servant to a household in the wealthy enclaves of lagos where no one will talk about the strange disappearance of her predecessor rebecca no one but Aduni. Wow. It continues, but I'll shorten it there. I'm excited. I'm keen. Looking very much forward to it.